The new Network Operations Management, or NOM, user interface is the modernization of how your network is displayed, visualized, and managed. Network service availability is optimized and more efficient using NNMI monitoring and NA configuration and compliance data together. The topology data you see is coming from NNMI in real time and sends data over to the new NAM UI through REST API calls. The overall node status is a combination of the monitoring and the overall compliance status. The monitoring status from NNMI is shown by a right-hand indicator for each of the nodes. The overall compliance status of the node, as shown by the left-hand indicator, comes from NA through new REST API calls. If the network admin was only interested in seeing the current incidents, we could turn off compliance and focus on incidents on the network color-coded by severity. The incident node status colors changed as a result. In the same way, we can toggle compliance on and incidents off so we can simply focus on compliance issues. For this overview, we'll keep the compliance view on to show additional features. Next, we'll drill down into the compliance indicator and see the rules out of compliance for a given device. These compliance rules can consist of common vulnerabilities and exposures, or CVEs, along with regulatory and corporate rules. The rule happens to be an example of security content included in NAM or as an add-on fee for NA customers. With NAM, you can rapidly identify which devices are vulnerable in your environment as it includes Cisco PCERT notices or other vendor criteria for identifying device vulnerability. From the single view, we can drill down into the device Canada and see 9 out of 29 devices where this rule violation is occurring. Clicking on the rule displays high-level rule details and scrolling down, the list of nine devices in violation appear. Root cause analysis can start by clicking on the information indicator where it opens up a right-hand pane displaying the reason for failure. These are the same event text that you would see in the NAUI. In this case, this device is running iOS version 12 and IP HTTP server is configured. This combination has known security issues reported by the vendor and explains why this rule is reporting a compliance issue. Looking at other devices and reasons for failures, we see all are running a vulnerable iOS version and have HTTP protocol turned on. To resolve the issue, we can select one or more of these devices. We'll select three devices and take an action to deploy a change plan. When we click on the deploy change plan, it will open up the right pane and it will list any defined auto remediation change plans. There is a CVE and configured change plan that disables HTTP. This is the auto remediation change plan that's defined for this rule and NAM will default to it by highlighting the name with three asterisks. The asterisks are not actually part of the name, but are for the associated remediation change plan. We'll deploy the remediation plan that will fix this problem. We receive a notification on the NAM UI along with the link to cross launch into NA to check the status of deploy change plan task. If we then go back to the network overview, in a short amount of time, the Canada and other two devices we selected will turn green. The rules page is a consolidated dashboard of rules that are in violation across the network, sorted by severity and indicating the number of nodes impacted by a particular violation. This will help your operations teams understand and prioritize which rule violation should be addressed first. If we look at the same rule which we previously remediated, it shows that there are still six devices that are impacted. Clicking on that rule will take you back to the rules detail page with the list of devices impacted and an option to deploy a change plan to remediate the issue. 
Now, if we go back to the network overview, the node status is green for all the nodes since the auto compliance policy has now been remediated. 